Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the Gepper C KX5 Elegant Frame. This is a 243mm frame with an interesting cage in the front of the quadcopter that protects the camera which kind of resembles the chameleon frame. So let's open the box and see what we're getting inside. So inside the box we're getting the assembly instructions, two sets of stickers, a bag with the bottom plate which as you can see it's a unibody plate and in addition we're getting here also a velcro strap and antenna protectors an anti-slip sticker for the battery and another velcro for mounting an action camera. We're also getting a LED board, a simple PDB with an XT60 female connector, aluminum parts for the cage of the FPV camera, bottom plates and side plates and finally all the spacers and screws that are needed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm quickly going to assemble this frame, wait up and show you its specifications. So I finished assembling the frame, it was a quite easy process. Let's weigh it up. The weight of the frame is 128.1 grams. So it's not a light frame and it's understandable because this is a 243 millimeters quadcopter. So it's a little bit bigger than the frames that I've reviewed in the past. Still it fits 5 inch propellers, maybe if it was just a little bit bigger you could potentially fit 6 inch propellers as well. The thickness of the top plate is 4 millimeters, the side plate thickness is 1 millimeters and the thickness of the bottom plate is 2 millimeters. Overall I think that this design is very clever and your FPV camera is going to be well protected in this cage. There is a big resemblance to the Armatan Chameleon frame, but I don't think it's a clone. GPRC has been doing a really good job designing their own frame, so maybe they took a little bit of inspiration from the Armatan frame, but this is not a copy, in my opinion at least. On the back of this cage you will be able to fit an action camera. It is designed to use a GoPro session style camera like the Runcom 3 for example and it already has this 30 degrees angle which is not adjustable unlike the angle of the FEV camera which of course can be adjusted. I think that this frame is going to be perfect for freestyle and I'm going to use it probably with these motors that were kindly sent by BBB. These are 2407, 2600 kV motors and I think they are going to play very nicely with this frame so soon I'm going to feature it on a build video. As always I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this frame feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye!